This deadly wreck that killed four people and ended with a couple of arrests also caused a shutdown of the 163 there. ABC 10 News reporter Danny Miskell has been at the scene for hours, joins us now with the latest information. Danny. Well, Mel, I'm still standing right here on the 163 South Freeway. I'm right in front of the Arrow Drive overpass and also in between where the Genesee Avenue exit is. And this section of the 163 South has been shut down since 1 30 this morning and it's because like you said three cars got into a huge collision CHP tells us that four people died and two people were arrested on suspicion of DUI now in the last half hour we were able to show you one car that was still on scene involved in the wreck but it just got towed within the last 30 minutes but you can see CHP and other agencies are still on scene and they're sweeping and collecting evidence let's go ahead and run it back let's take you to where this all began at one this morning when the call came in CHP says that this crash involved three vehicles and they also said that two people were arrested for DUI from two separate vehicles. Those two DUI drivers are both men. One is 32 years old and the other is 25 years old. The four victims who died in this crash, we don't know which car they were in, but we know that three of them were all in their mid 20s and they were men. The fourth victim is still being identified. CHP tells me they're trying to figure out what led to this crash, and we are also trying to figure out if the two DUI drivers knew each other. But right now, all CHP can tell us is that this investigation is still ongoing. Now back out here live, I want to go ahead and show you the impact that this collision is having on traffic. So we're going to go ahead and swoop this way because you can see that the all four lanes of the 163 South is still closed down. There are these cars blocking it. I know that traffic is backed up all the way past Balboa Avenue, but you can see that as soon as you reach this section where you're about to uh, branch off to the 805 South, that is where traffic is being diverted right here before the Aero Drive overpass. That is when traffic is starting to get uh, Pick, uh, pick up again. So just pack your patience because CHP tells us that they're expecting for this road closure to still last for another several hours. Live in Curdy Mesa, I'm Danny Miskell, ABC 10 News.